Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Give me a moment. I have to change my name. I use Max's Zoom account, since I don't have one, for work. And I always put my name in and not Max's name. So you know it's me. So I'm just going to do that for a second here. Um, and then we'll continue with our service. There we go. And now I am officially Rabbi Donnie. <laughs> okay. Well, Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and happy Hanukkah. Um, I hope everyone is having a really nice um, week um, between Shabbat and Hanukkah. Um, uh, like I said, I hope everyone's having a really nice week and, uh, you know, taking in the whole meaning of the spirit of Hanukkah and, and sharing it with your, fa with, your, with your family. And then I know my family, we're going to do something on Zoom. And I know it's not the same to do it on Zoom. But I'll tell you, you know what? It's ever a little bit of a silver lining. Like I have noticed that I see more of my family <laughs> that are not local. You know, it's like you know on Zoom, and you can and, and and it's better than not seeing them at all. You know, it's um, you know, and, and it's something that's been really special and something that we really connected with. And uh, after we did it back in, at Passover, when this whole thing began, we said, we're just going to do it every couple of months or so as families. So um, it's something that's worked out pretty, you know, pretty well considering, you know, everything. So we will begin our service with Moda Ani, a prayer that says, I'm so glad that I uh, uh, woke up this morning so I can make the world a better place. <laughs>
heritage. Mishkinatecha, we are searching, will you show us Israel? We are Israel. Born to sing your praises in our holy, holy spaces, Matobu, bless the morning, Matobu. continue with our daily blessings. We're going to do them all in Hebrew this time. Sometimes we mix it up with Hebrew and English, but we're going to do it all in Hebrew this time. In the prayer book, if you have the prayer book, uh, once again, I said if anyone needs the prayer book and wants one, I'd be happy to deliver one to you. So just let me know. Just email me, dearen at ancheyamit.org, and I'd be happy to bring you a prayer book. So we're on page 103 on Birko Tashachar. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lesag Virina Lechim Ven Yom Uven Laila Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shasani B'Tzalmo Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shasani B'Tzalmo Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shasani Yisrael Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Pokeach ivri. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Malvish arumim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Matir asurim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Zokev kifufim. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Roka Artal Hamayim, Mahabruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Hamechin Mitzade Gaver, Mahabruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Sheasali Kot Sorki, Mahabruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Ozer Yisrael Big Vuraha, Mahabruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech. Haolam, O Ter Yisrael Beti Farah, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Hanotin LaYahev Koach, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Hamaavir Shinai Meina, Lutnu Mameyafapai. Dor la dor yishabak mahasecha, vurotecha yagidu. 
הדר כבוד הודך, ודברי נפלותך אסיך, ולזוז נורותך יאמרו, ותולתך אספרנה. זכר רב טובך יביאו, וצדקתך ירננו. חנון רחום אדוני, ערך אפיים ותוך חסד. טוב אדוני הכל, ורחמיו על כל מעשיו. יודוך אדוני כל מעשיך, וחסידך יברכוך. כבוד מלכותך יאמרו, וגבורתך ידברו. להודיע לבני האדם גבורותיו, וכבוד הדר מלכותו. מלכותך מלכות כל עולמים, וממשלתך בכל דור ודור. סומך אדוני לכל הנופלים, וזוקף לכל הכפופים. הנה כל אלך יסברו, ואתה נותן לכם את אכלם ואיתו. פותח את ידך ומשביע לכל חי רצון. צדיק אדוני בכל דרכיו, וחסיד בכל מעשיו. קרוב אדוני לכל קוראיו, לכל אשר יקראו באמת. רצון יראיו יעשה, ואת שבתם ישבע ויושיעם. שומר אדוני את כל אוהביו, ואת כל שהים ישמיד. תהילת אדוני ידבר פיהי, ויברך כל בשר שם קושו לעולם ועד, ואנחנו נברך יא, ואת הווי עולם, הללויה.
We continue with the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad
So we have this week's Torah portion by Yeshav. And this is the story of Joseph. Now I was 12 and a half years old and I went to see Joseph on Broadway with Barry Gibb. Was it, was it Barry Gibb? Wait, Andy Gibb, it was with Andy Gibb. All the kids here are like, we don't know who that is, but your parents might know who that is. So he was a, a singer, so Andy Gibb. And my mom was nine months pregnant with my sister and she went into labor <laughs> in the middle of the play, um, but didn't want to ruin, this was my Hanukkah present going to see this play, this Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. And uh, she didn't want to say anything. So she knew she had time. So she didn't say anything the whole time. And then afterwards she said, I think we're going to go to the hospital now. So, and poof, there's my sister anyway. So she was my Hanukkah gift also. So happy Hanukkah, everyone. I um, just wanted to share, share that with you. And I hope that everyone is, um, you know, having a, a, a good experience, a good Hanukkah with your families in your homes. And maybe you're Zooming people in, maybe you're not. Um, I recommend it. I know Zoom is crazy. No one wants to do it all the time. But it's really kind of cool when you get all your family members there, you know, and it's really, it's, it's a nice thing to do. Um, I wanted to talk today a little bit about the concept of angels. Now, a lot of people think that in Judaism, that angels don't exist, but they do. They're just not like on TV, like you see like an angel with a halo on their head and all that kind of stuff. We do have a concept of angels. I mean, was it last week's portion, I think? We even had where um, Jacob was um, wrestling with some something, some kind of being, maybe some kind of angel, um, uh, you know, when he got his name changed from Yaakov, from Jacob to Yisrael. And in this week's Torah portion, we begin the, and it, the whole Joseph saga, getting thrown in the pit and all of that kind of stuff. And what's interesting is that there is, um, from the first Aliyah, I'll read a little bit. This comes from the first Aliyah. There is a man on him as, at the, there, there a man happened upon him as he was wandering in the countryside. The man asked him, Where are you, what are you looking for? He said, I am looking for my brothers. Could you tell me please where they are tending the flock? This is Joseph saying, he's looking for his brothers. The man said, they left this place. Yes, I heard them say, let's go to Dotan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them at Dotan. And we know what happens at that point. Now commentators look at this and say, was the, what kind of man was this? Was this a man in the middle of a, of a field? It could have been. Um, but some of the commentators look at it and say that this was an angel and that angels are, 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 are placed time, you know, are placed in certain times um, to, to fulfill a purpose. And this purpose was to make sure that he found his brothers, because if he didn't find his brothers, um, if Joseph didn't find his brothers, then we would still be in Egypt, you know, kind of thing. All, even though awful things happened to Joseph, the things that came afterwards, if that whole series didn't happen, then we wouldn't be here, you know, we wouldn't be here today. So, um, so that's really in, in, important to, to, to think about. And there's another time that I think is more people are familiar with when it comes to angels when um, Sarah, that's right, when Sarah and, and, and Abraham were in the tent and these three men or angels or something came to them to say that you're going to have a baby and she laughed and that whole thing. And so angels are definitely a part of, um, a part of our, um, a, a part of our uh, Judaism. And there's one quote, I want to find it. Okay, hold on. All right, there's one quote that I thought was really kind of cool that I want to share with you. And it's sad coincidence this is a yiddish um a yiddish proverb coincidence is when god chooses to remain anonymous and so like it's a coincidence that 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 guy was there you know to, to direct jacob to, to direct joseph in the right in the right way um and you could say maybe it wouldn't have been good if joseph went but if joseph didn't go it wouldn't have been the pit wouldn't have come egypt everyone wouldn't have come back you know, um, you know, from, you know, and wouldn't, 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 we would not have ended up with the whole story, the, the Torah with, with everything the, the, it might, the story might have ended there. So even though some bad things happened along the way, it's something that was important that happened. Um, so angels, angels are something that are very important in Judaism. We don't quite understand them all. We don't understand exactly what they're here for. Um, but some people actually 
um, uh, look at this angel, this man who directed Joseph in the right way, believed he was the angel Gabriel, um, who is a very powerful angel in Judaism. So, um, so the question, you know, to, to you that I ask you is, as, have you ever experienced something that made you think that was an angel? You know, um, you know, so someone, so, someone in your life or something like that, someone who's come just at the right time to tell you the right thing. Um, with that. So, um, you know, maybe it's a, like a remarkable, maybe you've also experienced a remarkable uh, coincidence um, and how did it affect, you know, affect you and others. So as it talks about coincidence is when God chooses to remain anonymous, doesn't mean that God isn't there, right? So is there times in your life you've experienced a remarkable, a remarkable coincidence and how did that affect you? And, and, and what would happen if you viewed the coincidence as part of a larger plan for your life? So, um, yeah, just something to think about, you know, and especially when it comes to miracles, especially this season with, 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 with Hanukkah and different miracles. A great miracle happened there. And what are the miracles that happen in our lives and who are the people that help us through and, 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 and help, help that create that in our lives. So um, that's a, just a little bit to think about today. We're going to end our um, service today, of course, with the Mission Bear Blessing. Hopefully everyone is happy and healthy and is wearing masks and staying indoors and um, doing all the things that we should be doing. So um, I wish everyone uh, a happy Hanukkah and, of course, a Shabbat Shalom. And uh, we'll be back here next week. Same, same back time, same back place. Once again, ask your parents. <laughs> And uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. If you have any suggestions or things that you'd like to see in the service, always you can email me. Some people have emailed daaron at uh, anshayemet.org. D A A R O N at anshayemet.org. All right, have a good one. Blessings to everyone.